Today's match is in the books, and now it's time to break it down. Welcome to Cougar Post Match Live. Toward the byline, cross coming to the sixth. It's headed in! Michaela Coulahan! Post match coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Smith's, low prices, market fresh at Smith's. And by Zion's Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zion's Bank is for you. Now let's get you back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, the BYU Cougars today here at Santa Clara see the first blemish on their perfect record this season, but it was not a loss. They get a point out of it. They stay still winless here in Santa Clara as the final score goes to 2-2 after 110 minutes of play. Two overtimes go scoreless, and the final here is 2-2. Santa Clara opened the scoring in the seventh minute, uh, rather the sixth minute today. It was a free kick from uh, Kelsey Hedge after a BYU foul just outside the area. 1-0 Santa Clara at that point. The lead expanded to 2-0 in the 34th minute. It was a Cougar giveaway in the defensive 18, resulting in a quick pass from Maddie Gonzalez to Caitlin Parcell. She fires home with the right foot, and we were 2-2 through 34th, uh, 34 minutes of play. Then late in half number one, uh, they actually changed the goal scorer on this. It was Ellie Mon's goal earlier. They've now given the goal to Ashton Brock. Bank. So Ellie Mon had the corner kick, and then in the scramble that ensued, Mon was initially giving credit for that goal. It does end up going to Ashton Brockbank of a goal mouth scramble in the 42nd minute of play. So take the goal away from Ellie Mon, give the goal to Ashton Brockbank for Ashton. That is career goal number four on the year and number three on this season. So Brockbank draws BYU back within one at 2-1. to one. That's how we hit halftime. There was one goal scored in the second half, and it came in the 68th minute. It came this way. Central E. Flake. Flake at 40 yards straight away. Elise Flake running at the back line. Plays Cam through. Cam's into the 18. Right footed shot. And score! Cameron Tucker ties the game! 68th minute, Cameron Tucker off the assist from Elise Flake. For Elise, it was assist number two on the year. For Cam, goal number five on the year. Career goal number 12 for Cam. And BYU tied the, uh, tied the game at two. That is how he stayed through 90. That is how he stayed through 100. And that is how he stayed through 110 minutes of play. Two scoreless overtimes. And this ends up in a 2-2 draw. BYU ends up with 13 shots to Santa Clara's seven. BYU seven shots on goal to Santa Clara's four. There were 17 fouls in the game. Nine against Santa Clara, eight against BYU. The corners were even at uh, five apiece. And of the eight offside flags today, BYU saw uh, six of them. Uh, one coming in overtime that will be discussed as Elise Flake took a long ball from Danica Serracio, and unless she was originally offside, before the ball was played, or as the ball was played, we saw Elise having to get past a defender to get into position to receive the pass from Serracio. The flag came up late. She was in alone. The flag was up, and that uh, particular attack was ended that way. But either way, this thing does end up as a 2-2 draw. When we come back, we hope to have a word or two with BYU head coach Jennifer Rockwood. This is BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Welcome back to Cougar Post Match Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For the final word on today's match, let's rejoin Avery Walker and Greg Rubel. Time now for our Zions Bank post match coach interview brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Avery is already on her way to the airport. The BYU soccer team soon to do the same. I'm visiting with BYU head coach Jen Rockwood after BYU's 2 2 draw at Santa Clara. So, uh, coach, uh, not the full three points, but uh, down 2 0 as you were. Uh, good grind to get one. Yeah, the girls' battle is extremely hard. I thought we played really well. You know, we were a bit unfortunate in a couple of uh, defensive mistakes. Uh, close to our goal that that led to those goals but for the most part defensively we were so solid and had the majority of the run of play you know it's tough to come into this place uh, and and get a point and um but again just proud of the way we fought through we went with our different formation you could tell that unrattled them a little bit they couldn't really solve our midfield and Kayla and Jamie and Ashton really kind of held things down and you know, we were able to come back. I just really thought we'd get that go-ahead goal, and hopefully that just keeps us hungry to uh, keep getting a little bit better in that attacking third. And we were just sometime inches away from putting in the winning goal. Yeah. You know, Stanford, a really good team, was in a 2-2 game with these guys here, and it stayed 2-2 till very late. You just couldn't find the late goal that, that Stanford found. Yeah, and like I said, I thought we had it. I thought we had a couple of good chances, and uh, – you know, I think we wore, like I said, I think we wore them down. We, we had the ball a lot. Just I thought we played really well and unfortunate not to get the three points. But, you know, coming in against a great team um, here, 
uh, you know, we'll take the point for sure and be proud of the way we played, the way we competed, and everything we were able to do. And, you know, we'll regroup and, and get ready for game number two in conference. The long conference title chase has begun. It continues next Wednesday. Pepperdine uh, got a win over Portland today. Portland's been playing well, so the Waves come in a little confidence. You get them at your place next uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, you know, I love going back to Southfield. And like I said, there's a lot we can take from this game and just the guts out grit that the girls showed and, and, and the fight that they had. And, you know, we'll just uh, we'll keep getting better. We can get better in that attacking third. We, we just didn't uh, get in many, enough bo- uh, balls in the box in the first half, and, and we kind of missed some of our opportunities there. But over time, I thought we were real dangerous. Well, two uh, high-caliber clubs, uh, two uh, two national names in the world of soccer play to a 2-2 stalemate here after 110 minutes of play. Jen, we'll keep it brief so we can get you on the bus, and I'll see you there shortly. All right, thanks. All right, that is Coach Jen Rockwood, and that will do it for today's BYU women's soccer coverage from Santa Clara. Final score is 2-2. Our appreciation to the crew back at BYU Radio. Tanner Rawl is our control board operator. Terry South is our coordinating producer. Intern Max Clark was working back there as well today with engineering help from Sean Fay. My appreciation to broadcast partner Avery Walker. My name is Greg Grubel. Thank you, Jen Rockwood, for joining us post game. Final score BYU 2, San Clara 2. We have next soccer action with you uh, next Wednesday. BYU home to Pepperdine at Southfield. That'll do it. So, 2 2 is our final after two overtimes here at Stevens Stadium. In the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good day. So long from Santa Clara.